Hello and welcome to Philip's Thoughts. Uh, today I had a thought that I would uh, give you all a tour of the garden. Um, basically be the good, the bad, and the ugly. This year has been a little ugly. Uh, we had kind of a weird spring. It got hot, then it got cold, then we had a lot of rain, then it got hot again, then cold again. Um, so some of the plants did really bad. Um, other plants seemed to like it. Um, so anyways, we've got some new additions this year to the garden, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through that. Um, and yeah, this is uh, just going to be a kind of a quick tour of the garden. I'll be talking along the way, kind of going through like, you know, what I think went wrong and, you know, what I'm going to try to do next year. So let's uh, take the tour. Okay, coming up, some of the good and the bad. Um, the uh, grapevines really took a hard hit this spring and they didn't really start leafing out until uh, oh, probably closer to the end of July. Um, got just a little bit of grapes on here, not much of anything. Um, see that? And open the gate. Well, it looks like squirrels and whatnot have been going at it, but yeah, we've just got a couple grapes there this year. Um, Hopefully next year they'll do better. I did cut them back quite a bit, but I didn't think I did that bad on them. Oh, there's a nice little bunch there. But yeah, usually we're able to make lots of jelly, and this year it's just not going to happen. Um, have uh, some sunflowers. Uh, we've got a couple nice big ones here. Um, most of them got whacked out. We had some storms go through, knocked them down. Um, I planted a lot this year. I planted two rows, one on each side of my garden bed, and squirrels, rabbits, they love eating those things when they're small. Um, and they ate most of them, actually. Uh, we got a few here that have survived. Got a couple that, I guess they got knocked over. Um, this big bushy plant here on the ground is actually a uh, pumpkin. It's a white pumpkin. And you can see you know, there's some pumpkins growing up over on the fence there. And here's one down in there. And I think we got a couple more down here. Let's see that. Um, this is Pure Volunteer. Uh, he came up just from the uh, you know litho pumpkin that we had from last year. And uh, you know it's just one plant and it's just expanded and grown. I uh, just kind of let it go. Um, you can see a lot of this garden bed here. I've just got some cardboard down and some mulch, just trying to kind of beat the weeds down since I didn't get out here and get everything planted because we had such a wacky spring. Um, so I'm just really trying to get things prepped up for next year. Um, you know, even our rose bush here, it didn't do too well. Um, last year we had tons of roses on it. I'll see if I can insert a picture on that. Um, but this year it just kind of strung out. It, shot up but really we haven't had much rope in the way of roses um, there's one little red rose down in there I don't know if you can see it or not um, from one of our other rose bushes which has been basically taken over by raspberries um, we have raspberries over in another section of the garden and some birds decide to plant them inside our main garden area and yeah it needs to go so that's what I'm gonna be doing a lot this fall is cleaning this out um, so I can reclaim my garden. Um, we're going to cut back the lilac bushes. They've gotten really big. You know, I tried thinning them out a little bit and I let them grow up taller, but I think I'm just going to need to cut those way down. And uh, I have no doubt that they will be back. Um, now one thing that we did have, this here came out good, um, you know, along with the raspberries. Raspberries love this weather. Here's our collard greens. These are collard greens that um, I planted last year and they came back up again this year. Um, you know, there's a little bit of bug damage on here, but not that bad. Um, and we do have some seeds, seed pods here, and these are actually from kale. Um, there's a little bit of a kale, I guess, still coming up. Squeak it up out, out from last year. Um, and that's fine. I like volunteer plants, so, you know, it wants to keep coming back here every year. And we harvested so much of this last year. I mean, we filled our freezer. I mean, it's just packed between kale and collard greens. Um, and you know, you can substitute that in really anywhere, like you do spinach or whatever, like if you put you know, a little bit on pizza or maybe in your omelet. It definitely has a nice flavor, I think. Um, 
Now here's some of the bad that we have. I mean, here's my tomato plants. You know, I mean, they are just so small and pitiful. Usually I have these massive things. I mean, here's this one guy who's barely holding up his tomato. Um, I don't know what happened. I did try planting them quite deep. I don't know if I planted them too deep. Yeah, we've got lots of mulch down here to hold the moisture in. And the rain has been pretty regular this year. So, you know, I didn't feel the need that I had to come out and water them or anything. Um, but yeah, they're just having a real bad time this year. Just really did not do that well at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to try again next year. I would like to uh, plant a lot of you know, bigger tomatoes next year. That way we can do some canning. Um, but yeah, this year just really did not work out so well. Even our pepper plants are pretty small this year. You know, we've got a couple little peppers growing on there. For the most part, they did not do too well either. Um, you know, I've got a couple blueberry bushes over here, and you know, I'm just surprised the guy's still alive. Um, just really do not have not had much luck with them. You know, I've got two in here, you know, getting covered up by some weeds and you know the raspberries so a lot of work to do out here get this cleaned up and prepped for next year um over here i've got supposed to be a hardy fig you know a little one here i've had these in the ground a couple years now got a little one here and i don't you know funny thing is this one here stays relatively small, and if I come up over to this side of the garden, this one here always gets a lot bigger. Um, now the problem I have is they die down, and they basically have to come back up from the roots. Um, you, know, you can see some of the old stalks still left in here from last year, but they don't sprout back out on there at all. So I'm not sure how well these hardy figs are doing. I may give them one more year. And that's it. And if they don't produce, um, yeah, they may have to go so we can make room for other things. And, uh, yeah, it's just the way it goes. We'll try it out. I mean, it's supposed to be good for our zone, but it's not working out so well. Um, here we've got plum trees. Uh, these are an Italian plum. And so far we've gotten blossoms, but I've not gotten any plums off of them. Um, I'm hoping that I don't need to uh, have you know, like some other variety to fertilize and to propagate, but um, we'll see. Um, you know, they seem to be doing okay. You know, we've got some bug damage from the Japanese beetles, but other than that, they're doing pretty good. Uh, we've got some flowers going out here, again, just to kind of keep bees and so forth coming to, you know, help pollinate things. Um, here's one of our newer additions. Uh, this here is a honeyberry bush. Um, Got a smaller one there, and then we've got a larger one. I uh, just planted these this year. Uh, I actually did get a few honeyberries off this bigger one. Um, best way to describe them is it's kind of like an elongated grape, uh, or not grape, but uh, blueberry. And um, they're kind of a sweet tart type flavor. Um, I like them. Hopefully, we can get some more, and uh, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll have some jam there. Um, now over here is a raised bed that me and my son put in this year. Um, basically, I've got a layer of wood down underneath here, um, and then went smaller sticks, and then even some uh, mulch, and then we covered up with some uh, compost, some dirt from around the yard, and some uh, bag garden soil to you know kind of help fill that in. Um, and what we've got going in here is we've got some goji berries, um, which are doing really good. I was afraid these guys actually weren't even going to make it, and they were just doing gangbusters. Um, when I first put them in, they kind of died down. I wasn't sure if you know, it was just a shock to the roots and stuff. Um, and they came back. Um, they're really coming back great. And then the other things we've got in here, which are doing, again, doing really awesome. Um, is uh, asparagus and they just keep coming and keep coming I'm really surprised I figured they'd kind of you know shoot up and that'd be it in the spring um, but the, you know they keep shooting up here and there so they're doing really good 
So hopefully in the next couple years we'll get some more. I did put some tomato cages around the uh, goji berries or wolf berries is another name for them. Um, just to kind of try to hold them up. They were just really flopping all over the place. Um, and I don't know, I'll probably end up having to take the cages down eventually. Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Again, something my first time trying. You know, if you got any hints or tips on those, let me know. And, you know, I've tasted these. These are definitely, um, to me, more of a savory type berry. Um, you know, they're kind of a bitter. And I want to try working these maybe into some, you know, Asian type cuisine or, uh, oh, what do I say, like maybe stews or something like that. You know, some more savory dishes. I'm not sure that that would be a good jam or jelly, although I have seen it listed out online as, hey, this is something you can do. So we'll try. We'll see what happens. I think we're going to have plenty to work with. Um, and then over here, we've got um, some gooseberry bushes. And we got a few gooseberries this year. Um, I really like them. They're kind of, you know, they're a different flavor. They're kind of a musky flavor. Um, I've always heard of gooseberry pie. And I'm really looking forward to getting enough to uh, do that. Um, and these guys have grown quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell on the video here the color change on the stem. And see where, I mean, it's grown like probably a good foot and a half at least um, in certain spots. And I'm going to try to cut that off in the spring, see if I can get a couple other uh, plants started from that. And yeah, we'll see if we can get some more going. I really like those. Um, and that's the main back part of the garden here. Uh, coming up along this side is another bed behind the garage. Uh, previously we'd had strawberries growing in here and that just, they just didn't do too well. You know, I get a couple little strawberries. I think the squirrels and birds got more than I did. Um, then we had some rhubarb growing. Um, now what I did was some of the rhubarb did go to seed this year. And I'm going to go ahead and take that and start off some other rhubarb plants. And we're just going to do rhubarb all the way back here. That way I can uh, go ahead and make some rhubarb jam, you know, in a couple years. Um, could probably do at least one batch just with the three or four plants that I've got going in here. And again, we've got some weeds and trees going um, that I need to get in there and dig out and just clean this bed up. Now coming up over here, here is where our main raspberry bushes are supposed to be. Um, and they've done really good. Uh, you know, they kind of shot up there. We've got some dead wood in here I need to clip out so that they can uh, go ahead and expand in there. But this is where I really want to keep all my raspberries. It's just over this one corner of the yard. I don't want them uh, everywhere. Um, so if we can keep it focused over here and not going crazy in the garden area, that'd be great. Um, now I do have uh, some cherry tomatoes just growing in a pot over here. Uh, and they're doing okay, uh, not too bad. And then coming over here, we've got uh, these are some garlic chives. And just taking off, and this is just kind of underneath our deck. And right now they're just uh, flowering out, and then they'll go to seed. And uh, yeah, these guys do great. I could probably. Uh, harvest these guys off and pop them up and sell those and <laughs> make them in as much as they grow out. Now coming around to the front here, these are our apple trees. Um, and again, you know, kind of good and the bad. Uh, you can tell not all of the branches have apples. Um, in fact, the other tree over here, it barely has any. It was just a few. Spring, the weather was so weird, it was just they bud, start budding out, and then it would get cold, and I think the tree just really didn't know what to do at that point. Um, so, yeah, usually we have buds on the tree for like a week or two, and that's it. And we probably had them for like a month, they kind of kept coming. Um, but the apples we do have actually look pretty good, so I don't know if we'll have enough that I can do uh, a batch of um, applesauce with, or maybe apple pie. But, you know, I'd like to try that in another video and uh, just go through that process. Um, you know, along the house here, you know, we've got some more of the uh, garlic chives coming up. 
is a flower plant that my wife has. As you can see, we've got a nice bee out there getting stocked up for winter. And then coming up around the house here, last but not least, we've got some uh, red currants. Now these guys were really small. Basically got them almost for free. I mean, it was like five, ten bucks for two of them. They were just little stick things, leftovers that they had last year, from last year. Because um, they hadn't got their new shipment in yet when I went to get them. And I thought, hey, I'll take them. I'll give them a shot. You know, the lady was kind of leery of selling them to me, but they're going pretty good. Uh, and I'd like to go ahead and get some more and kind of build out this bed. Maybe get, some, you know, these are red currants. I'd like maybe get some black currants. Um, just kind of mix it up a little bit. We did actually have a couple little currants on there earlier in the year, but I think the birds snatched them before I got out. And so yeah, that's the main section of the garden. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, for right now, anyways, um, you know, every year we like to go ahead and plant more new stuff. And um, yeah, we'll keep doing that. We'll do some more videos on what we're gonna do. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this trip through the garden. Um, oh, I can't forget. Yeah, we've got a couple tomato plants over here. Um, doesn't look like they've got much on there because we snatched the tomatoes again. These are little cherry tomatoes. I um, just kind of put them in the chair for they could sit there and just you know let the vines go down. Um, but we snatched the tomatoes off of these uh, and made some pizza recently. And these guys over here as well. So lots of cleanup work to be done this year. Um, and lots of plans for next year. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, trip through the garden. Um, if you have any thoughts on you know what I could do better, um, I'd appreciate it. Usually I've got like massive tomato plants and this year it just didn't happen. I don't know if I got them in the ground too late because the weather was kind of crazy or if I planted them too deep. You know, it's one of the things I saw on the internet was people were planting them down really deep so they get this great root system and they can build these massive plants. I don't know, maybe I went too deep, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> but yeah, it just didn't work out. Um, so anyways, you know, I'll go ahead and just do some parting shots of our uh, sunflowers over here. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, you know, share it out with your friends, you know, let, let folks know. Um, hey, this guy's got, you know, some neat stuff going on here. You'd like to share it out. And uh, yeah, the more people we can get, you know, watching the videos, the better. And uh, yeah, on that note, keep thinking up new ideas, keep thinking, and enjoy.